Here's a quick guide to actually using Google Classroom on the iPad. It's pretty easy to use, so you just click in and you sign in using your C2K EN details. Okay, so once you're in there, you can really see the bottom. Um, at the, well, these are all my ones at the, at the minute. Okay, so there's lots and lots of different, different uh, topics, different classes, each one for uh, separate things. Okay, so there's a wide range of things you could possibly use it for. To join a class, you go down to the bottom right hand side. You can actually say join class or create class. To join a class, you just add that, you get the code and you put it in, okay? Uh, and that'll get you signed up. To create a class, just go down and press create class, put your details in, so the class name, um, the section, the uh, room, subject, um, and uh, all the details you could possibly need, okay? Um, just make sure if it is a class, make sure you actually have your class uh, name up there. You might teach a lot of uh, different classes, for example, for year eight. So just make sure you put the right uh, year eight class there. It's just a, a key tip. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of time for that there firstly to um, jig up and actually create the class itself. Just a couple of, about a minute or so, okay? Um, but it's uh, you should be having your head about what you're going to do next then, okay? So once you're all set, you can see your class is going to appear. So here we go. It automatically selects uh, some, some of the history here. So you can see the actual theme is a historic theme. Um, you can see the different sections of this as well too. So at the top left hand side, this is all your different classes. Um, you can go into settings and it shows you all the different sections here. There is your class code there under general just in case. Okay, you can disable it. You can reset it if you want, but uh, that's your class code. That's the one you'll hand out to your pupils. Okay, uh, all right, so the next section then, um, you have a lot of different things down at the bottom. You've got stream, you've got classwork. To, to go into classwork if you can, and you're going to create a, a topic here. This is one key tip I would uh, say. Make sure you create topics. It's a really good way to structure and organize your Google Classroom. So I usually start off with class specifications. It's usually the best way. So you need to put, um, uh, if it's GCSE, lots of the specifications in there for them to look back up. Um, and next then, if we go to another one, let's see, let's go for this time. Uh, go for background, okay, so with the background of the course, we're gonna put that in. And you'll see the way it goes to the top. All you need to do is hold your finger down in that there and slide it down to where you want it so it's all in order, okay? Um, we'll do another one here, let's see. We'll this time it's zero with three um, and we'll put this time uh, you'll put booklets in uh, one really good thing to do is actually to have your course booklets in there um, if they forget their hard copies it means it's all there in front of them um, and they've got no real excuses so but it's quite a good thing to put down there okay so you want to put anything here you'll end at the bottom plus part and then let's see what this here is something we want in here so uh, we're going to put in here, let's see, uh, useful websites maybe, okay, so useful websites, useful web links, so if we go in there, we go and make sure you connect it up with a topic here, so we'll connect it to background, okay, and to go up to the right hand side, the little paper clip, this will give you the option, so you can go to drive, you can use your links, it's my drive here, so all those uh, drive materials all there, um, stored in the cloud. Um, but you also have links, you get the camera, you get file, and you can pick a photo as well. To put a link in, just simply uh, either cut and paste or as I'm doing here, type it in. And um, then just click add at the end of it. Okay, you can add as many links uh, as you want there as well too. And that's a straight link onto them. To send it to them, you can actually then go to the little arrow at the top. We'll do that in a second, just to let you see there's various types of things here. So you can go into your, your photos and choose a photo if you want. Uh, and that there will go straight to them as well too. It's a good way actually of maybe taking pictures of their work or a really good essay or, or waggle and sending it off to them um, after an assignment's uh, completed. So it's uh, quite a good way to actually interact with them that way and show them how, uh, how good some of the work is as well too. Okay, so if we go uh, up to the top then, top right hand side, we're gonna send that to them. You can see it's going, it's going. And there it is there, under background, you've got useful web links. If we click into that, um, we can see it there. So there it is. And if we uh, actually touch that there and open in Safari or Chrome, whatever it might be, uh, it'll take us straight there. And that is the, the, uh, the web link that we've requested. So very simple.
it's all there. Remember, you can put lots and lots of different web links and things in there as well too. YouTube videos as well too. It's quite a, quite a good one. Uh, okay, so uh, next we can go down and maybe add the plus again, and we'll see what else we can do. So maybe like what assignment this time? So you want to put an assignment in. This here is an assignment. So you type in your assignment title. You can then choose how much it's going to be. I do 10 markers for AAS politics, so 10 markers. We have a due date, so whenever it wants to be up. Uh, so we'll do the 19th for that. And then it has to be in the topic as well too. Okay, so choose the topic. In this case here, maybe let's do an assignment topic. It would be quite good to have one in. So you can do it here if you want. So number four, assignments. Make sure for them that all their assignments are in one place. Okay, so it's all set, done and dusted. And there we are, we have sent it off. Uh, that is straight down to them, so easy to easy to go. We'll put it down at the bottom. We're all set. This should be a good reintroduction to the iPad uh, use of Google Classroom. Thanks for listening.